The Gaussian source type injects a beam with either Gaussian field profile or Cauchy-Lorentz beam profile. This type of beam is typically used to represent an incident beam where you want to include the full profile of the beam in the simulation region. There are two methods to calculate the field profile of the beam, the scalar approximation method and the thin lens method. The scalar approximation method assumes that the beam doesn't include any field components in the direction of propagation, so all fields are polarized in the transverse plane normal to the propagation axis. This approximation is valid as long as the beam wave's diameter is much larger than the wavelength of the source. The parameters of the scalar approximation beam are either the combination of the beam waste radius and the distance between the source injection plane and the focal plane of the beam, or the beam waste radius at the source injection plane and the divergence angle of the beam. These beam properties are illustrated in this diagram. The distance from waste setting can be set to a negative number if the focal plane is in front of the injection plane in order to specify a converging beam, or it can be set to a positive value to specify a beam which is diverging as it propagates from the injection plane. For more highly focused beams where the beam waste diameter is on the order of or smaller than the source wavelength, the scalar approximation breaks down. In this case, the thin lens method should be used instead. Note that the thin lens method is only available when using the Gaussian type beam, and it's not available for the Cauchy-Lorentz beam. The thin lens method injects a fully vectorial beam where the beam profile is calculated by a sum of plane waves traveling at different angles, representing the resulting beam from a lens of a given numerical aperture and a given ratio between the incident diameter of the illuminated portion of the lens to the total lens diameter. This method of calculating the field profile is based on a published method by M. Mansurpur. The beam waste size is not one of the input parameters that you can specify when using the thin lens method, so to generate a beam with a given beam waste radius, you can set the distance from focus property to zero to calculate the field profile at the focal plane and vary the numerical aperture until the calculated beam has the desired waste radius. The calculated beam profile can be viewed by clicking the Visualize Beam Data button in the Beam Options tab. For broadband simulations, the multi-frequency beam calculation option should be selected which allows the injected beam profile to vary over the broadband range to maintain the desired beam properties over all wavelengths. For example, the images here show a beam incident from the bottom right of the plot on a surface, and the angle of the beam propagation varies with frequency when the multi-frequency beam calculation option is not selected. When injecting a beam, one thing to be careful of is avoiding clipping the beam at the edges, since this can lead to diffractive effects. You should always use the Visualize Beam Data button to plot the field profile and make sure that the field amplitude of the beam decays to zero by the edges of the source region. Some applications which make use of the Gaussian source are photonic integrated circuits, heat-assisted magnetic recording, CMOS image sensors, and microscopy imaging. The Gaussian source can be used to represent an incident laser source, or can be used to represent light from an objective lens with a given numerical aperture. 